Hello and welcome to the 15th episode in my Payday 2 Weapon Guide. In this video, we're going to be covering the newest member of the ever-growing assault rifle family, the Union 556. A bullpup rifle straight out of science fiction, the Union is modeled after the Belgian F2000, specifically the Tactical TR variant, first introduced in 2001 by FN Herstal. As a bullpup, the magazine and bolts are located to the rear of the trigger, providing the user with a full-size barrel length and a much smaller package, making it ideal for use indoors or fired inside a vehicle. The weapon lends much of its design philosophy from the FN P90, especially its ambidextrous nature with shells being ejected in a manner not to hamper with right or left-handed shooters, as well as controls easily accessible by all users. Like most Western assault rifles, the F2000 accepts NATO standard box magazines in accordance with Stanag 4179. In game, the Union would be classified as a low damage assault rifle, dealing 40 damage by default or 42 with Fast and Furious. While this level of damage is manageable on overkill and below, even basic enemies on anything higher will require a handful or more shots to bring down. Special enemies will require even more lead to put down, some even taking upwards of half of a magazine to subdue. With that being said, the silent killer skill and critical hit builds are viable with this weapon and can improve time to kill to a large extent. While the damage for the Union may be on the lower side, it compensates with a rather high rate of fire, coming in at 857 rounds per minute, which puts it on par with the Lion's Roar. Only the Valkyria and Clarion rifles have higher rates of fire, however trade other, often more beneficial features for the higher cyclic rate. That being said, the Union is arguably the best high fire rate, low damage assault rifle, especially when you factor in how flexible it is when it comes to loadouts. Its high concealment can make it very useful with critical hits, and allow it to quickly melt bulldozers and specials in the right hands. Stability is probably the bigger selling points on this weapon. Not only can the Union be easily maxed out, but its low per shot recoil makes it incredibly easy to control in sustained bursts, allowing it to be controlled even against distant enemies. Newer players will likely gravitate to the Union as many weapons in Payday 2 are a bit unforgiving in regards to recoil, especially those that require a laundry list of upgrades and skills to remain controllable. While accuracy may not stand out quite as much as stability, it can still obtain a very satisfying numbers regardless of loadout if you are smart with skills and modifications. Critical hit builds should utilize the professional aced, and standard loadouts should use compensators to balance control and precision. While it may not be sniping enemies across the first day of the GOAT simulator heist, it is more than capable for the vast majority of scenarios you will encounter and can be paired with a high accuracy secondary if it still remains a huge concern. A magazine size is typical for the NATO assault rifles at 30 rounds by default, with all CAR-4 magazine options available including the quad stack magazine which will effectively double your magazine size. This is helpful when facing multiple enemies or a pair of bulldozers. Thankfully, uh, the reload speed is actually the fastest in class, at 2.9 seconds for a standard reload and 3.4 for a full rechamber, sort of limiting the need for an extended mag. Personally, since I reload after every engagement, uh, the speed pull magazines are more than helpful, effectively cutting reload times in half. Total ammo is on par with the other 40 damage assault rifles at 150 by default or 188 with fully loaded. When taking ammo bags or fully loaded, ammo shouldn't be a major concern, but with a critical hit focus build, especially on harder difficulties, I found myself forced to use my secondary on occasion to refill the Union. For our build with the Union, we will be creating a build friendly to newer players as well as those wishing to complete crime sprees. The first modification will be the Tactical Compensator, followed by an Accuracy Boost, LED Combo, Dunes Tactical Receiver, Speed Pole Magazine, and an Optical Attachment of your choice. This paired with skills will maximize handling characteristics, providing us with a very easy to use weapon. 
From the Mastermind Tree, uh, the most important skills will be Rifleman, Stable Shot, and High Value Target to give us better handling and increased damage against special enemies. Uh, the Enforcer Tree, we will be getting Resilience, Bullseye, Shock and Awe, and Iron Man all aced, as well as spending uh, the minimum number of points required to get two upgraded ammo bags and fully loaded aced. Steady Grip, Surefire, Lock and Load, and Body Expert Aced will be critical as well from the Technician Tree, giving us a much more aggressive playstyle with an emphasis on fully automatic fire. Finally, Parkour Aced and Duck and Cover Aced will make moving around much easier with additional movement and sprint speed. Armorer or Muscle would work fine with the skill and weapon build, although using the Fire Breather Nozzle in lieu of a Compensator may work better for the Muscle Perk deck as the increased threat could allow the weapon to be used to give suppressing fire. Anarchist would work well too, but would require a tweak of the Enforcer skills, as the perk deck does not benefit from armor regeneration boosts from skills. A high damage secondary such as the CR805 Bravo would fit well with this build, giving it a bit more punch against tougher enemies without compromising on its aggressiveness. Stun grenades, throwing knives, and shurikens all fit well in an aggressive build as a throwable, but molotovs can work well when operating in narrow hallways or protecting objectives. Overall, this weapon is very reliable and predictable thanks to its good handling characteristics, fast reload, and high fire rate, and will fit well into most builds that warrant full auto fire. Keep in mind that its effectiveness begins to wane substantially on higher difficulties, so be prepared to be expending a lot of lead even on standard enemies. While this weapon may not be a complete game changer, it has the ability to unite newer players under a simple, relatively cheap, and easy to use assault rifle that doesn't lend itself to power creep. Thank you very much for watching, join us next time when we take a look at the new roles of LMGs in Payday 2. But until then, happy hunting.